Mushroom coffee is becoming more and more popular. With all of its benefits, people are very curious about whether or not it really does anything. Mushroom coffee is said to be healthier alternative to regular coffee and sometimes contains less caffeine than regular coffee. With its added benefits, people may not need their regular dose of caffeine and may benefit from a more natural energy boost. Most mushroom coffees contain a variety of medicinal mushrooms such as chaga, turkey tail, lion's mane, reishi, and cordyceps. Some of the benefits of mushroom coffee are said to be reduced stress, improved sleep, reduced inflammation, stronger immune system, improved mental and physical performance, and improved mood and cognitive performance. I have personally been drinking mushroom coffee for over a year now, and in today's video, I'm going to share my findings and we're also going to try out a new brand. I've tried about six different kinds and I definitely have my favorites. Please consider subscribing if you like content like this. Let's get into it. Hey everyone and welcome. So today we are going to kind of do a mushroom coffee roundup. I'm going to kind of share my journey over the last year. I've been drinking mushroom coffee since last September, I want to say, and I have thoughts. I have tried six different kinds of mushroom coffee and ranging from mm, like $10 all the way up to $45. So I'm gonna kind of go through and tell you guys my thoughts on which ones I liked the most, why, and which ones I disliked and why. And we're also gonna be trying out a new mushroom coffee. So this company actually sent me this. Never heard of this one, but there's something about this coffee that is really cool. I kind of wish the other ones would take after, uh, but we'll get into that in a minute. First of all, I'm gonna talk about kind of the pros and cons overall of mushroom coffee. By the way, these are my thoughts and opinions. Uh, if you guys wanna do your research and find out more information about this, you are welcome to do so. Now I have done quite a few other videos on my reviews and I've actually had some people comment that uh, they think that uh, mushroom coffee is kind of a scam, that it doesn't really do what it says it's going to do. Uh, I disagree. I have definitely noticed I've definitely noticed results for myself and I can tell when I stop drinking it. So even if it is all in my head, oh well, because it seems to work for me. I will say right now I I've switched up a lot. There's one in particular that I've had ordered the most out of any of them. Uh, and I keep going back to that one and I can tell a difference when I don't drink it. Like I ran out for about four days and I felt horrible. I got super bloated. I was ha having stomach issues and I just did not feel myself. And I, I was like, what is going on? And then I was like trying to figure out the only thing that had changed and it was, I was out of my coffee. So I started drinking more and I felt so much better. So the pros for me, it helps with my focus. I have three kiddos and it's um, it's just hard for me to focus. I am all over the place. I'm in my 40s, by the way. So it's just like lots of things are changing. Dare I say I'm may maybe in perimenopause. So I feel like these coffees have helped me in that aspect as well. The main thing, like I was saying earlier, that I've noticed is my feeling bloated. I don't get bloated anymore when I drink this stuff. But sometimes when I forget or I don't take it or I don't drink it for a while, I can tell I just feel like bloated and I just don't feel great. Oh, another thing that I've really enjoyed about this is I don't need regular coffee. I just don't need it anymore. I've always enjoyed coffee because of the flavor, not because I need the caffeine. So this has more of like a natural caffeine, I would say, and it's less than a regular cup of coffee. And that works for me. Uh, if I drink too much caffeine, I get really bad heart palpitations and that freaks me out. So that is why I really like drinking the mushroom coffee. Couple of cons, there's not a lot. The main one is it is more expensive. It really is because you're getting different ingredients, you're getting healthier ingredients, and it's just more expensive than regular coffee, obviously. And then like the other con is just that I don't feel great when I stop taking it. So I feel like this might have to be something I take forever or something I drink forever just so that I feel okay. I don't know. All right, so we are gonna get into talking about this one. Uh, I have like three other video reviews. I reviewed Rise, I reviewed Lucid. Uh, I think I did like a comparison with the La Republica. Uh, and then this one and the other two I'm gonna talk about, I, I have not done a video on, but I do wanna go into detail on some other ones as well. But this one, let me just tell you. So you can find this on Amazon. I will say it's kind of expensive. This might be one of the most expensive ones. I wanna say it's like $45, but you get 30 stick, 30 stick packs per bag. So the thing I love about this brand is they come in little individual packets. I don't know why, but I just love this. I feel like you don't have to measure. You just 
cut it open. I mean, it's early in the morning. I don't want to have to think. I literally just cut this open, pour it into my coffee or pour it into my cup. I add a little bit of creamer. I froth it up with my frother and then I put it under my Keurig and add the water and I'm good to go. So I really do like how these are in its own individual little packet. So this one has 15,000 milligrams of mushrooms per servings or per serving. It has lion's mane, turkey tail, cordyceps. Oh, and this one, oh yeah, this is a latte. So you don't even have to add creamer to it if you don't want to. I have been adding creamer because I forget that it's a latte and it's almost too sweet. So you literally could just add water to this and you're good to go. Uh, so this one is really, really good. Let's talk about, let's see, there's 35 calories. You've got 20 mgs of calcium, 0.5 of iron, 540 milligrams of potassium. So this one has 42 milligrams of caffeine in it. So if you're trying to keep on the lower end, this is actually the one that has the least amount of caffeine. So I really do like that. And I feel like with these, I don't need that caffeine. Like if this, this just like, I don't know, it wakes me up. It just kind of evens everything out. So if you're thinking you can't drink mushroom coffee because you need the caffeine, give it a try and just see, just see how it feels. I do really like this one. Like I said, you don't need the creamer. It is light, like blah, 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 lightly sweetened with natural coconut, palm sugar, and creamy coconut milk. Uh, it's hundred percent vegan. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, it is more on the expensive side, but I do really like it. I do like how the packaging is like how it's, you know, the single servings. All right, we are gonna get into ranking everything. So let's see how this one stacks up with some of the other ones. We're just gonna start with number six. I'm gonna talk about my least favorite and get to my most favorite. Uh, so yeah, if you guys have seen some of the other videos, I will say like right off the bat, I was very positive in my Rise review because I did, I really liked it. I was like, this is good. People were commenting and they were, in the comments saying that it tasted like vomit, that it tasted awful. And I'm like, why, what are these people talking about? Like, it's so good, I love it. And it, you know, it really did, it made me feel good. I just, I don't know, I really did like it. So now after trying some other ones, I do see what people were talking about. Um, it does taste very earthy. Uh, it probably has my least favorite flavor out of all of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and say Rise is my least favorite out of the six I've tried. These are my opinions, don't come for me. So now Rise, um, I thought it kind of tasted bad after tasting some of the other ones. It's quite expensive. Uh, it only has 48 milligrams of caffeine, which is a good number. Um, but yeah, that one is gonna be my least favorite. And you can't, well, you might be able to order it on Amazon, but I don't know who you're ordering it from. I don't know if it's actually coming from Rise or not, so just be careful with that. And then my second least favorite, I, was, I feel bad, like this, it's not for any reason. It's just, um, this one is more so because it was really expensive, I feel like. And we're gonna, Lucid. Lucid is my number five. Uh, it's got 45 milligrams of caffeine and it tastes fine, but it's pricey. Uh, and it wasn't very memorable for me. Like I drank everything they sent me. They sent me the matcha, the chai, and the mushroom coffee. And I finished off the mushroom coffee, but it's not something I would reorder again, uh, probably because of the price. Yeah, it wasn't horrible, but just not my favorite. All right, so number four, this one, actually I have, hold on. Okay, so this is actually one I went to Home Goods to buy. I didn't go specifically looking for this one. I actually, I had someone comment on one of my other videos saying that the one that I had been buying, she's like, um, you can buy this for like $8 at Home Goods. And I was like, what? I've been spending $22 on this like every single month. So I went there looking for my other favorite mushroom coffee and they didn't have it, but I found this one. And so this is from, this is from 360 Nutrition. I've never heard of this brand. This is mushroom coffee, dark roast, gut health. I liked that that was like the main you know, gut health. Uh, it says dark roast, robust with notes of chocolate. It's got chaga, pre and probiotics, uh, stress relief and balancing, gut support, endurance and energy. Now, this little guy was $10. Not bad, right? 10 servings. So, I mean, I, I guess if you look at it, yeah, I guess that's not bad. So it was a dollar a serving, but I don't know. I guess it's not horrible for only 10 servings. 
And this one I do really like. It's very, oh, and you know what? I didn't really talk about the rise. So the rise is on the grittier side. Like it was hard for me to get it all like blended up with my frother. I still kind of had, when I got to the bottom, it was still pretty gritty. Lucid mixed up just fine. This one is very, this one just looks, Um, this one just looks kind of like uh, instant coffee, maybe with a little bit of creamer. Yeah, so this one mixes up really, really easily. I just use my frother. And this one, you don't need a lot of creamer in as well. I don't know if this one has, let me see. It's got stevia leaf extract. Oh, and this one has the ashwagandha powder, which that's another thing I've been taking because of perimenopause. I've read that that is something good to kind of balance things out. So that was another reason I wanted to get this one too. Um, but yeah, this one's good. I, this one has 44 milligrams of caffeine. I would order, or I mean, I would buy this one again. The price is fine, but nothing like crazy. I don't know. I kind of wish it was a bigger package. Here. Now we are going to move on to my number three. Now, if you are a huge coffee lover and you don't want the like by the way, none of these taste like mushrooms. I love mushrooms, but I don't want to drink them. None of these taste like mushrooms. So, but if you are a coffee lover and you want something that is more like coffee, I'm going to recommend this one. This one is more so like coffee than any of the other ones, I would say. So now with this one, this is the Think Organic Coffee with Lion's Mane and Chaga Mushrooms. And it's just ground coffee. So I put these in one of my little um, refillable cake cups, K-pods, what are they called? Yeah. And then I just put that in my K-cup, add a little bit of creamer, and that's this one's super easy. This has 50 milligrams of caffeine, uh, zero calories, which by the way, I feel like all the other ones have calories. Wow, I think this is the only one that doesn't have calories. Yeah, so the ingredients are organic coffee, organic lion's mane extract, organic child, child, oh my God, organic chaga extract, and wild crafted. What does that mean, wild crafted? I don't know, but anywho, so this one, yeah, this said also says dark roast notes of chocolate, but this one is definitely going to be more like coffee if that's what you're looking for. I only ha I've only had this one a few times, so I can't say like too much to the benefits, but I do really enjoy the taste. And sometimes I just want like a real cup of coffee and this just kind of feels like that to me. So if you're wanting to kind of start slowly into something, I would try this one. And I did get this on Amazon too. All right, so my number two, we're gonna give it to this one. I like this one. So this is Ultimate Mushroom Coffee. This one, like I said, has 42 milligrams of caffeine. Um, oh yeah, and I wanted to talk about the consistency of this one. So kind of reminds me of brown sugar, which the rice kind of reminded me of that too. It's almost like a thicker, it's just, Thicker, but this one does not get gritty like the rise. This one mixes up perfectly. Yeah, you definitely want to be careful about adding too much creamer because like I said, it did get a little too sweet for me, but I really do like this one. I love the packaging. It's a little on the expensive side, but it does it tastes really, really good. So yeah, I'm gonna give this one my number two spot. And now moving on to my number one spot. I don't have this one right now to show you because I this is the one I ran out of, and I kind of felt like, you know what? I'm gonna venture out and try some new ones. But I have a feeling when all of these other ones are gone, I'm gonna go right back to this one. And this one is the La Republica Mushroom Coffee. This one I found actually on Amazon because after I tried the Rise and the Lucid, I was too cheap to reorder any of those. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna find something cheaper on my own. So of course I went on Amazon and I found this one and it didn't have a ton of reviews. Like I feel like it's, I don't wanna say it's newer, but I feel like not a lot of people have been talking about it. So I like this one. It's, it says it's got 30, 30 or 35 servings. Yeah, no, it does not last me that long. This one is literally like instant coffee. That's what it reminds me of, but I love this one. It tastes good. It, I don't know. I just got so used to using this one. It's very inexpensive. It's effective and it does really taste good. So I don't know. You guys have some options here. Everyone has their own opinion, so I would love to hear yours if you guys have tried any of these. What, how would you rank them? So the La Republica is the one that someone commented and said she saw at Home Goods for like eight dollars, and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna go buy like twenty of them. And yeah, they didn't have it at my Home Goods, but I will definitely keep my eye out because it is twenty-two dollars on Amazon, and that's not a lot. But if I can find it cheaper, I definitely want to do that. 
So, all right, you guys, let me know down in the comments, what, what, do you, what are your thoughts on mushroom coffee? Do you think it's legit? Do you think it's a scam? I mean, I don't know. In my head, I feel like it works. I'm gonna continue to drink it just because I like, I feel like it's got more benefits than just a regular cup of coffee. So even if it's just helping me a little bit, hey, I'll take it. So, all right, you guys, I hope you, ooh, this one smells so good. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you have a good day and we'll see you all in the next video. Bye.